Right friends, once again welcome back to learning space. We are going to deliberate on the first mini capsule, generic drugs and bioequivalents. And we discussed several times with regard to the difference between generic drug as well as branded drug. Generic drug is identical or bioequivalent and that is to the brand name not only in dosage, strength, quality, performance and its intended use and in most of the cases generic products are available. Once the patent protections afforded to the original developer have expired. So, branded drug costs a lot in comparison to the generic drug and generic medicines and bioequivalents before going ahead. The Prime Minister recently stated that it is mandatory for the doctors to prescribe only the generic names but not the brand name of a drug. Here the important point is several doctors expressed apprehensions with regard to the quality of the drugs and under these circumstances what is the world practice as far as this bioequivalence of generic drugs. If you look at United States of America and European Union this generic drugs are therapeutically equal to the innovator drug. So, this generic version is therapeutically equal to the innovation drug and in the western countries bioequivalence testing that means to indicate that it is equivalent in therapeutic use to the original drug or innovator drug this testing is compulsory and generic formulations are tested to ensure that they have the same physiological characteristics as their innovative counterpart and these are known as bioequivalence studies. So, bioequivalence studies means the generic drug will have same physiological characteristics in comparison to the innovator drug and these are strictly implemented and these are tested on healthy volunteers. Normally, in case of innovator drug, lot of clinical trials mechanism is there or you can say clinical trials was part and parcel of uh, innovation of new drug and this generic drug will have studies on healthy volunteers. So, they are much cheaper and carry very little risk when compared to the clinical trials conducted by the new products. So, once bioequivalence is established, a generic drug is legally certified to be of the same quality to replace innovator product and they can be interchanged with innovator product. And in fact, if you see World Health Organization, one important organization across the world that is Medicines Sans Frontiers, these purchase only bioequivalent drugs for their programs. That means, both innovative products as well as generic products have got the same quality. So, this is all about the world and if you look at India, prior to April 3, 2017, prior to April 3 and after April 3, because on April 3, drugs and cosmetics rules were changed. Prior to April 3, India mandated bioequivalence studies for only those formulations seeking approval within 4 years of the innovator product getting approval. So, bioequivalent product or generic drug requires bioequivalence studies within 4 years of approving the innovator product and as a result, most of the generic drug manufacturers are seeking market approval from the fifth year onwards so as to avoid bioequivalent studies. So, please understand up to four years of giving license to the innovator product or original product you can say it requires bioequivalence studies mandatory for generic drugs prior to April 3. That is why what the generic drug manufacturers are doing. Generic drug manufacturers prior to April 3 are avoiding bioequivalence studies by postponing their drug release to the fifth year onwards. Right now, what the government has done from April 3, government 
changed drugs and cosmetics rules now it is mandatory to make bioequivalence testing of all highly soluble drugs compulsory right now it made compulsory prior to the april 3rd it was not compulsory from 5th year onwards so the ethical question comes what about the quality for the drugs approved prior to april 3 and at the same time when doctors are prescribing these drugs what will happen if the drugs are of substandard quality right and finally what needs to be done and strict enforcing mechanism is required for this generic drugs government must ensure companies to self certify their drugs to indicate whether they are in fact bioequivalent or not a simple logo on the drugs packaging to indicate whether a drug has been tested for proof of bioequivalence along with identification number listed on the clinical trial registry india should be made mandatory and now there are 36 drug regulators along with central regulator and they conduct the periodical testing of samples and the data must be available publicly then the data must include laboratory test report as well as investigation report by the drug inspectors and at the same time government must look at using information technology tools to network all 36 drug regulators into one integrated national database so this is all about bioequivalence so bioequivalence testing is mandatory from april 3 onwards but the biggest question is what will happen to the drugs approved prior to april 3 and an article with regard to this appeared in the hindu on 29th april right so with this let us conclude this generic drugs and bioequivalence have a nice day thank you